Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. Today I will be installing some upgrades into a Lenovo ThinkCenter M900 small form factor PC. Alright, so let's go over the upgrades. We have a low profile MSI GTX 1650 graphics card. Now this thing is going to be pretty good. It has four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. I think it'll provide some nice kind of a uh, mid-tier gaming performance. And now to replace the i5-6500 CPU that's currently installed, I have an i7-6700. All right, so let's get this thing open. I already have 16 gigabytes of Samsung DDR4 2400 megahertz memory installed. I believe I have a 240 or 480 gigabyte ADATA solid state drive, uh, which also has Windows 10 Pro 64 bit installed. So before we get started, one interesting thing that I'm very curious about is the power supply. Now this thing's only rated for 210 watts on tech power up at least. The low profile GTX 1650, the recommended power supply is 250 watts. So I'm really curious about the power draw, uh, whether or not this and the i7-6700 will have too much power, uh, will it be you know, just enough, or will it still fall under? So we're going to download hardware monitor after we do the install of the upgrades and we'll check our voltages and also what kind of uh, power it's outputting. So let's get the CPU cooler removed and install that CPU. All right, now let's install this GPU. So before I close everything up, of course, we gotta do a test run. All right, look at that incognito gaming machine. And as it turns out, we have a ADATA SX900 256 gigabyte solid state drive. I also downloaded Unigine Heaven Benchmark for testing and hardware CPU ID hardware monitor so we can measure the power output. All right, so strain your eyes with me and take a look at the chart. So right here we have the i7-6700 information and we can see right now that we are outputting an average of 6 to 6.25. It looks like our max so far, our max value is 22.5 watts, the GTX 1650. Right now idling at 7.36 watts. So far we have a max output of 16.75. Of course that's well under 210. Uh, what we want to do now is test out benchmark system and we'll keep hardware monitor running in the background. We'll just minimize it for now. So I'm going to start off with running it on low settings 1920 by 1080 resolution because I don't want to overload the system right away just in case that does happen. I think we'll be okay, that's my judgment, but let's find out. All right, so hey, that's some pretty good result. Let's check out what hardware and monitor has to say. So the i7-6700 is no problem. The max output we had was 28.76 watts. And let's go down to the GTX 1650. The max output we had was 68.27 watts. So we're still not even getting over 100. I think I'm going to skip right to high, still at 1080p. So of course, let's check out the results. All right, now going over to the CPU, we're up to 41.01 watts for max output. So that's definitely about double from last time. The GTX 1650, we're sitting at 68.27 watts. So right now we are sitting at just over 100 watts with those two combined. Is test some games out and I'm probably going to go ahead and install that second SSD as well. And then I'll be right back and we'll check out some gameplay and go over the results.
All right, so as you can see from all the gaming footage, using the system with a 210 watt power supply turned out to be perfectly fine. I'm super happy with those results. And before we wrap things up here, um, I just thought I would show the SSD caddy that surprisingly came with a lot of these M900 towers that I purchased. Um, it's just really nice to have the option to install a 3.5 inch hard drive in this blue caddy or this little metal caddy will perfectly fit a 2.5 inch hard drive or solid state drive and fit right here. So that's a nice snug fit. I'm gonna connect the cables, set this up in Windows, and then we'll do a little bit of the wrap up. So we're all packed up and ready to go. I'm happy and surprised by how well this small form factor gaming setup works. I'm ready to wrap up the video. The one thing I will say is that it would be nice to have some extra cooling because it does get a little bit warm. Not once did it get close to overheating, but still fairly warm. And one thing I would think about is maybe using something like a Dremel to cut out a square here and maybe put in some uh, mesh or some kind of uh, passive air cooling for the GTX 1650 that sits right here. Otherwise, you're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully this helped you make the decision on whether or not you want to upgrade your Lenovo Think Center M900 or a similar small form factor PC. Yeah, have a great day, which I hope is also relaxing and calm.